Welcome to David Tech. In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to do the freeze frame effect with the camera in motion. I will leave you an example of freeze frame in a tripod shot. Now I want to go a step farther. I want to show you how to do this with After Effects when you have a shot with the movement in your camera. You can see some examples here, some footage from your phone, footage from your Amsterdam camera, or all footage from your summer. You can do this with any kind of footage. Now, no more talking, I'll let you with the video. First of all, you need to open After Effects and add your clip. You need to create a sequence. You can do that just dragging your clip over the sequence or with right click, create a new, comp new composition. In this case, I choose a action camera shot. I can show you here how to do this, the composition. You need to use the track camera in the tracker section. If you don't have the tracker section, you go to Window and enable Tracker. Click on track camera. You need to go to the to this panel, go to advanced and detail analysis. Now you can see here the progress of the process. Can take a little while. When it's finished, you will see these dots, which is the tracking points in your clip. As you move the clip, you will see all the tracking points. So the first step you can reduce or increase the size of the point or the point and then you need to go through your clip and choose the, the first frame that you want to freeze. In this case I have some markers to indicate the frames that I want. You need to duplicate the clip with Command D, Control D in Windows. Now choose the duplicated clip and here you need to eliminate the 3D camera tracker in our duplicate clip. Once you do that, you need to right click on the clip, go to time, and freeze frame. Next step is create a mask for the object you want to freeze. So in order to do that, we choose the pen tool. I, I recommend to zoom in to make it as precise as possible. Once you have the Mac, you can disable the original clip and see if everything looks fine. Then, next step is choose the original clip, activate the camera tracker to see the points, and choose the point that you want to base your freeze frame, the plane that you want to choose. Normally, the green color is a better tracking point, so let's choose uh, this one. You click over it. You will see the dot and then right click, create solid and camera. And you will see the new layer, it's a solid, green solid. This is just to obtain the position of the freeze frame. So if we click here on the layer, we click P to get the position. Click over position, Ctrl D, Command D in order to copy the coordinates. Go to your freeze frame, we can rename it so we can keep everything organized. Activate the 3D for this layer. Click P to activate the position. Select position and Command B, Control V to, to paste the position. As you can see here, you can manage the scale or the rotation for your freeze frame. I will reduce the scale. You can see now the ball. I will put 11.5. And looks like a good, a good size. So how you move the object? You need to click the selection tool and move the axis, the Y, Z, X. You move it around until you 
mimic the position of the original object in the original clip. You can disable and enable the layer and see if everything is okay. You can sometimes you need to play with the rotation in three in the three axes in order to make it as precise as possible. And then here in the mask, you have the max feather. I would recommend 1.5 to make it smoother. You can go, you can play around, depends on your clip, you will need more or less. 1.5 normally works well. That will look uh, less, a little bit harder. Soft edge, edge. Well, when you have your object, your freeze frame, what you need to do is cut the clip with Shift Command D, Shift Control D. You will cut your freeze frame clip. You can delete the second part and leave the first part of the clip. So you will have your freeze frame already in your footage, as you can see here. Now you need to repeat this process as many times as you want. We'll choose this, this as a second point. And I have to do the same process again. You need to duplicate the clip, Command D, eliminate the camera tracker from this clip. I will rename it just to keep it tidy. And now we need to freeze the frame. Right click over the duplicate clip, time and freeze frame. Once you have your freeze frame, you need to create the mask to the object. So click on the pen tool, make the mask. Now we need to click on the original clip, go to camera tracker and choose your point your tracking point. In this case, I will use this one. Right click, create solid. As before, we will have another layer with this solid. We click P to activate position, click over position and Command D, Control C to copy these values. Now go to your second freeze frame, activate the 3D and click P. So you will get the position. Go to position and command B, control D. Now you have your freeze frame in the right position. You need to scale the, the object. I will use the same as before, 11.5. And with dragging the X axis, you will put the object in place. You need to be as precise as possible to make it realistic. Never drag the object. Always use the axis. And if it's not adjusting perfectly, you can play with the scale of the rotation. As you can see here. Can. Now, when it's done, you need to adjust the max, max feather and the mass expansion. 1.5 works well for this clip. And then the last step is cut it with Command Shift D, Control Shift D. You have now two frames in your clip, as you can see, works pretty well. You can repeat this process as many times as you want. I leave you with it. This is the end result. I did four for this clip. As you can see here, the this frame is in the middle of the action right now. So I will show you a little trick that we can do in After Effects. We can just go to Transform in this clip and we play with the opacity. We want this ball to appear one, once the basketball player is gone. So I go to this circle point, I enable the opacity stopwatch to create the first keyframe with 100% opacity. I go a little bit back 
change to zero, we'll create a second keyframe, as you can see here. So we'll go from zero to 100% opacity. So as soon as the, as the Pascal wall is gone, the wall will appear. And then the final freeze frame will be gone. Perfect. So now all you need to do is export your clip. You need to go to Add to Render Queue. Here you have your settings to change the frame rate or whatever you want. And the output to you can choose the name and the location. Once you have, you have that, you click on Render. And you have your MP4 file ready to work with. As you can see, it's not a difficult process. Actually, it's very simple and you can use any footage you want. For better results, uh, you can planify your shot, will be the best practice. If you like the video, please subscribe, click the like and hit the bell. You will get a notification for my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Bye.